What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna go over five things I love about my Lamborghini Gallardo. Now, I of course just made the opposite video, five things I sorta hate. Check out that video because I honestly couldn't even make it. But, five things I love about the Gallardo. Number one is the looks. Now, like I said, my childhood dream car. I was 11 years old when this car was introduced back in 2004. And of course, this was produced for 10 years up until I was about 21 years old. I'm 30 years old right now. So when I look at my life, the middle decade this car was in production. I mean, that's a big percentage of my life where this was a new supercar on sale. And for me, you know, this car came out when I was a child up until I was a grown adult out of college already. So this car is that poster car for my age. Obviously, every age group kind of has that car that was the dream car from when they were young to when they were an adult. So for me, when I look at this car, it is a jaw dropper. This and the LP640 Murcielago, in my opinions, are the absolute best looking cars ever made. I love the style. Those two cars complement each other so well. The Mercy, obviously a lot more expensive, a little bit harder to own. This car, I don't know, something about it when I was 11, I got a model car for Christmas and it just it won me over instantly. And for the next 18 years, I still had that model car, looked at it every single day, you know, we moved a lot growing up. I lived in like 12 different houses, apartments, rental houses, things like that over my life. And I never packaged away the Lamborghini Gallardo model car. And 18 years of dreaming later, I bought this car. So to me, when I look at this, I mean, it is gorgeous. I walk out to my garage so many times and just stare at this car. Now, number two on the list is the fact that this car is incredibly easy to work on. Now, growing up, I grew up in a DIY household. My mom and dad did everything, the cooking, the cleaning, the house maintenance, the car maintenance, the repairs around the house, every single thing we did ourselves. And that's how I do things today. I work on all my cars. I fix my house when needed. I do everything. I don't outsource people to do things for me. I do it myself. This car, as you know, the first four months, I had a lot of work to do on it. It was easy to do. While it's a lot of stuff to work on sometimes, it's an easy car to work on. I did the oil change myself. Yes, it's seven drain plugs, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. There's no computer programming you need to do for that. The transmission servicing, I will end up doing that. I even talked with a friend of mine who owns an exotic shop, and he told me if you can do an oil change yourself, don't even waste your time paying someone to do the transmission, just do it yourself as well. And that's someone who would make money off of me had I gone to him. So this car, you can literally maintain yourself, work on yourself, it is a very basic, easy, simple car. And that is something that I like. I toyed with the idea of buying a McLaren 570S. That car, not really something you can work on. You can't even see the engine in that car. So I really like and appreciate the simplicity that the Gallardo is. It is the same thing as the Audi R8 underneath. It is just very basic, very old school. You get all the cool supercar flair, but it's something you can genuinely maintain yourself in the garage. I'm not a certified Lamborghini technician, not even a certified mechanic or anything. And yet, over the years of just doing things myself, maintaining my own cars, this is nothing to jump into that I couldn't handle. So I like that aspect. I like working on my own cars. I enjoy it. I would much prefer to do it myself. This car allows me to have a supercar that is easy to own, which I really, really like. Moving to number three on the list is the V10. Now, not only the sound, but the power. Now, I came from the R35 Nissan GTR. Mine was full bolt-ons on E85, pushing 700 horsepower. Fast, fast car. One of the fastest cars you're going to see on the streets. I was a little worried selling that car to go towards a naturally aspirated 550 horsepower car. Would this feel slow? No. This thing's got enough character to where it feels so fast. You'll hit 100 so quickly without thinking. It is plenty of power on the streets. And when you pair that with the sound of the V10, this is a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated 10 cylinder. It sounds so good. My car has an X pipe rather than the factory muffler. So it sounds even better than a stock car. So just the sound is intoxicating. I love accelerating, downshifting. I mean, it is just absolutely addicting. Take a listen for yourself. This sound is something you can't find in many other cars. <laughs>
next up on to number four, which is the character of the car. You know, this is that good blend of old school supercar, but also modern enough to actually be enjoyable on the day to day in a normal modern world. The character with the transmission, it kicks you on the upshifts. When you go into Corsa mode, even faster gear changes, and then it just is so violent when you upshift. It keeps you on your toes. It is unlike anything else. You have a super heavy steering feel. The brake feel is very heavy. You have to work this car. Modern cars, you know, whether they're supercars, expensive cars, normal sports cars, are so easy. They're getting so easy to where it's just, I don't know, it takes some of the fun out. And I like this old school car to where, yeah, it's not the fastest. It's not gonna do the best lap times or the best zero to 60 time. I don't care. Nobody's buying most cars to even do that. I know manufacturers love selling vehicles based on zero to 60 times, Nürburgring lap times. It's a great marketing technique, honestly. However, in the real world, the vast majority of people are not doing any of that stuff to where it even matters. And yet so many people act as if zero to 60 time is the number one thing you need to be buying a car for. If you want that, buy a Tesla Model 3. You'll have very good acceleration. However, the best comparison I've heard is if you like steak, would you rather have a steak microwaved or grilled? The microwave will certainly cook your steak faster, but which one do you want? That's how I am with cars like this. Yeah, there are faster cars, and some, of course, are awesome as well, but the character in this, you just can't match, and to me, it is everything I want. It is fast enough on the street, you'll hit 100 without thinking, you'll break every law without thinking, so it's got the speed to where it's exhilarating, but the drama... Gosh, it is just a handful. It's so much fun. It is unlike anything. And the character in the older school cars is gone in modern cars. In the Huracan, it's programmed to hit you in the back a little bit in sport mode to give you some sensation of that. This car is kind of laughing at that because it is so manual and so raw. Yeah, it's un unreal. Number five on the list, of course, has to be the more sentimental value to me. You know, this is my childhood dream car. I've been wanting this car since I was 11, and I worked 18 years to be able to save up and buy this car. This wasn't just some cool car one day I decided to go buy. This was a very long time in the making. The majority of my life, I've been wanting to have this car in the garage. So the fact that I am now owning this car is obviously a dream come true, and it is very cool to be able to walk out in the garage and see this thing. Honestly, I don't know the last time I have seen a second gen Gallardo out in the real world. So it is a rare car that I've never really been able to see. I see a lot of the first gens, but to now own this car, it's just so many smiles. When I'm in this car, it's just fun. It's something different. And the person I've become working towards this car, in my opinion, was kind of the, uh, the success out of it all. I know, you know people love working towards their dream cars, which is great. That's what I did. However, who you become after working so hard for so many years towards a certain item, whether it's a car, a house, a vacation, whatever it is, I feel like that changes you to where your work ethic, who you are as a person is a lot better. But if you don't have a big goal, I don't think you as a person will grow into much more. And again, not everybody wants a big goal. They love doing whatever, which is fine. I am not gonna judge how people like to live their life, but for me, Having a goal like this has transformed my life. And now my wife and I have the next step of goals that we are working towards and they're gonna do even more things. So this car means a lot to me, not only because it's fun and awesome, but I wouldn't be where I am in life if I didn't have a goal of buying a car like this. So there you go. Those are the five top things that I love about my 2014 Lamborghini Gallardo LP 550-2. To be honest, the last 18 years of working towards this car we're worth it, you know? I love the car, I love the character. It's everything I could have hoped for. Obviously, started off a little rocky with owning this car, but the, the fun factor, the way this car is, it is so unlike anything else, everything I could have dreamed about, it's just so cool in my opinion. This car won't be for everybody, however, talking to Gallardo owners, so many of them have just such a passion for this style of car, this old school character, 
and owners love these cars which is so cool to see and for me i don't know nothing beats it i wouldn't sell this car for a huracan i really wouldn't sell this car for anything maybe an aventador one day maybe the next 10 years from now is my next goal is an aventador because that's the only car that i can think of that takes this to the next level so for me this is so it my dream car is everything i dreamed about which is really cool you know sometimes they say don't buy your dream cars because they won't live up to what you want somehow this thing lived up to everything even with a rocky start so there you guys go those are the top five things i could honestly go on and on and on about how much i like this car i'm a total fanboy of it it's cool has its quirks has its drawbacks but it's so much fun if you guys enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for plenty more content i'll see you all in the next video